In this lecture, we are going to learn about bitwise operators. There are total six different types of bitwise operator. First is AND operator, which is denoted by a single ampersand. Then an OR operator, which is denoted by single vertical stroke. Then XOR operator. Then we have left shift operator. Then right shift operator and one scope limit. And these are symbols for these operators respectively. Now let us see how bitwise operations are performed using these operators. So in the first table, we are going to check bit results for AND or XOR or negation and then one's complement. So if we have two bits as X and Y, then these are all the possible values of X and Y. And when we perform AND operator on X and Y, so in case of zero and zero, we get zero. In case of zero and one, we get zero. And in case of one zero, we get zero. Only if both X and Y are one, then we get one as a result of AND operator. And in case of OR operator, when both the results are zero, we get a zero, else we get one. And in case of X or operator, if both the results are same like 0, 0, 1, 1, then we get 0, else we get 1. And in case of 1's complement, the number is converted into opposite. That is, if we have 0 as the bit value, then it will be converted to 1. Similarly, if we have 1 as bit value, then it will be converted to 0. Let us take few examples. So if X is 10, then its corresponding binary value is 1, 0, 1, 0. So this first location is denoted by 1, second as 2, third as 4th and 4th as 8. So we have 1 over 1st and 3rd position. So 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. That is how binary numbers are denoted. And we are going to assume y as 14. So this is binary equivalent of decimal value 14. So if we perform AND operation over these two bit values, we know that when we have both the bits as 1, only in that case we get result as 1. So here both the numbers are 0. So we get a 0 over here. Here we have 1 and 1. So we get 1. And then we have 0 and 1. So we get a 0. Similarly in the final column, we have 1 and 1 so we get 1. So the result that we have obtained is 1010. One, so the equivalent value is 10. So when we apply bitwise AND operator on 10 and 14, the result would be 10. Now let us check the same with OR operator. In case of OR, we know that when both the bits are 0, we get 0. So only in this case, both the numbers are 0. Hence we have a 0 over here. And in the rest of the columns, we have 1 somewhere. So we are getting 1 in all rest of the cases. So our result is 1110, which is equivalent equivalent to decimal value 14. Finally, in case of X and OR, we are going to write 0 when both the values are same. So here we have 0 over here. Similarly, we have two zeros over here. So this will be 0. Similarly, in the third column, we have 1, 1, hence a 0. Only in the second column, we have 0 and 1. So we are going to write 1. So when we apply binary XOR on 10 and 14, we get 4 as the output. Then we are going to check left shift and right shift operator. Assuming value of X to be 1110, when we apply right shift by 1, then all the bits from second position will be shifted to the right. So 1 will go here, this element will go here, this bit will go here, and this bit will go here. So our final output would be 1, 1, 1, and the remaining bit will be replaced with 0. Similarly, if on the same X, we are going to perform right shift by 2, then these two element will be skipped. So these two ones will be shifted to this place and on the remaining spaces will add 0, 0. Exact opposite happens in case of left shift operator. So as you mean double 0, double 1 as my value of X, then if I'm going to left shift by 1, then these last three digits will be shifted to left hand side forming this 0, 1, 1 and we will add 0 on the last space. Similarly, when we have x less than less than 2 that is we are applying left shift operator by 2 so these two bits will be shifted to the left hand side those will appear here and the remaining bits will be replaced with 0 0 so that is how left and right shift operator works now we are going to check final table that is for one's complement assuming value of x to be 1010 0, 0, which is equal to decimal value 10 and then assuming value of y as triple 1 0 which is equivalent to decimal value 14 and when we apply one's complement to x so all the bits will be inverted so instead of 1 we are writing 0 instead of 0 we are writing 1 similarly for this 0 we are writing 1 and for this one we are writing 0 so equivalent
equivalent of this is decimal value 5. Similarly, for 1's complement of y, for triple 1 0, we will write triple 0 1. That is equivalent to decimal number 1. Let us take one example to understand this in more detail. I am using an unsigned character A initialized with 5 and B equal to 9. So, this is 8 bit representation of 5 and this is 8 bit representation of 9. When we apply AND operation over A and B, then if you just compare bit by bit, then this will be your output. Because this final bit is the only position where we have 1 in both the variables at the same bit level. In rest of the cases, everything will be 0. Similarly, for OR operator, if we just check these first 4 bits in both the variables, both are 0, 0, 0. So, you are writing 0, 0, 0, 0 over here. And for the next bits, it is 0, 1, 0, 1 and it is 1, 0, 0, 1 for B. So, when we apply OR operator, we will have 1, 0, 1, 1. So, which is your second part. Similarly, in case of OR operator, when both the digits are same, we write 0. So, first 4 bits are 0. Hence, we have written 0, 0, 0 over here. And for the remaining bits, we are going to write 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, these will be be 0, this will be 1, this will be 1 and this will be 0 which is your remaining 4 bits. Once complement over A is very simple. It is just inverse of this variable. So, first 5 bits are inverted to 1 as first 5 bits are 0 over here and for next 101 1, which are next 3 bits we will write 0 1 0. Next we are going to apply left shift operator on B. So all the values starting from this location till this will be shifted by one digit place. So we will have result as 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 1 and then the final digit will be added as 0. So if you check this line your result is this. Similarly when we again apply right shift operator on B then the output would be this that is only this last one will be excluded everything else will be shifted to form this part and then this zero will be added in addition so this was all about bitwise operators it will be great if you can practice this programs by yourself because that is the only way using which your concepts will get more clearer